good morning YouTube JT Serenity Farms prepping here it's Tuesday a little bit rainy gotta go see if we're gonna work on a cabin anyway and then I can make a run and get some needed supplies if we don't so what is the latest narrative being pushed by the fake news and the deep state and the suddenly concerned Democrats. Cyber hacks. But these will be directed cyber hacks, not random. We are being shown what the cyber hacks or what areas of our country economy that the cyber hacks will attack. First it was the colonial pipeline so they can shut down our fuel supply. Then it will be the electrical grid which will pretty much take care of everything our economy needs to function right now. The banking system, electric, power, light, heat, computers, communication. That's the key. That is the main reason there will be a communications blackout cyber hack as more and more of the deep state treason gets exposed concerning November shenanigans and pretty much just everything that we've been doing the deep state needs us to A, be silenced and B, be uninformed. They like us both ways like that. They don't want us to know anything. They don't want us to be able to share and spread, speak the truth of what we do know. I don't think it'll be a nationwide blackout. And when I say blackout, I think certain areas will have just communications. Because they need to keep the people from uprising too much. So if they shut down the energy grid and all communications, cell phones, computers, blah, blah, all at the same time, the folks would tip. Especially all the knuckleheads that get it for free. So they don't want that. They'll shut down just enough so that they can try and continue their plan. Figuring we're not going to be able to know what's going on. But just enough that people aren't going to starve to death, die of heat, have their ventilators or oxygen or kidney dialysis machines shut off, that kind of thing. And they don't want to shut down all food supplies and everything like that either. They know there's a point they can't go past where everyone may finally just take to the streets and demand change. That doesn't mean that everyone taking to the streets would be demanding the same change. Some want more socialism and most of us want zero socialism. So pay attention. They're dropping all the dog whistle words out there. 
Klaus Schwab from the World Economic Forum has been the biggest outspoken scumbag about a cyber attack. He mentions it every time he speaks based on the pandemic and then this, he firmly believes it is their greatest chance for them, the deep state and Democrats, to implement the Great Reset. And don't let that word great or reset fool you. It's not what you think it's going to be. The word great makes it sound like it's going to be wonderful. (laughs) Well, not exactly. And the word reset makes it sound intentionally to all the tards and misinformed that, oh, everything everyone owes would magically just disappear and everyone would get to start fresh. Yeah, well, that's not exactly how that is likely to go either. So pay attention because they are desperate. You can see the Democrats every day losing what little minds they had left. They know what's coming their way and they are desperate to do anything and everything they can to stop it. Their entire world is falling apart every day and sooner or later all the treasonous rats are going to start giving up the people above them. Plausible deniability really isn't going to exist, I think. Yeah, we're not going to get everybody that we've ever hoped for that we know is a dirty, treasonous scumbag. It it doesn't work that way. It's going to be frustrating. It's going to piss you off. It's sadly the way it is. But stay awake, man. Stay alert. Prepare yourself for power and communication outages. You know what's coming. You've been warned. Like, share, subscribe, comment, notification bell. But for now, JT is going around another curve. So, give me one second. Because now, JT, signing in.